Hello! Welcome back. This is Kenshin1913 and we are Let's Play Dragon Quest 9. In the last episode, we began doing some quests. Now, let's see if I can get a critical prep fall. Oh. So, okay. So, then critical prep falls are kind of like if you get a critical... Nice! Are kind of like if you get a critical hit, I guess. Oh, that's pretty cool. And we did it. Yay! So I guess it's kind of like a critical hit, so it's, I guess it'll take you a while. But look at that, we did it! Yay! I didn't even turn on my timer! Yay! Alright, let's go! And we'll talk with Tom Foolery! And get ourselves a item. Or something. Hey there, buddy, we did it! There's a fiend in a dungeon in Storning Way whose face needs a smile paint on. I'm counting on you. Wait a minute. Are we not done with this quest? Where the hell is the dungeon in Storning Way? What the hell? Can I even go there yet? What the hell? Maybe I did this quest. Maybe I did this quest too early or something. Well, let's see. Alright, let's look for this dungeon. In Stornway. Oh! Is it one of these guys? Yeah, alright, let's do a crap ball. Oh, I'm not scared. Oh, look, he just... Oh, look at that. Critical. What the hell? See, I never did this either as a, as a, uh, when I played it, so I had no idea Tom Foolery had a kid who was a minstrel. And I like that it's like a little, I guess it's like a little, uh, reference to Dragon Quest Three in some way, because Panon, they changed his name to Tom Foolery. And I gotta go back to All Trades Abbey. I mean, it was a little... It's a reference to Dragon Quest IV. What the hell am I saying? With Tom Foolery. Even though, even though Panon, uh, he, he was never really, like, a useful character. Because I never ended up using him. Because I was always able to just find him and then just warp to the town. And then after I left. Oh, uh, well. Let's talk to the ghost and get my stuff. All right. The Minstrel Manual. And we did another quest. Yay! You have to work like a beaver, I guess. So what the hell does that even do? I think it- oh, the giddy- diddy? We'll leave it in Kenshin's hands, sure. Alright, now let's go and do another one. Alright, so we finished off the mage, we finished off the- the minstrel, now it's time to start the arm mentalist. We need to do this ten times. So yeah, let's do this. 
So what we need to do is cast Sap on the... on some Tiger Guy. Twice, and then use Fire Force. So what I'm gonna do for this is now that I'm done with, uh... Now that I'm done with, uh, being a uh, minstrel, with Kenshin, we're gonna turn him into a mage. And he should know Sap. Hopefully he knows Sap. So, let's turn him into a mage, and yeah, he's all mage and stuff. Alright, blah, 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 okay, yeah, I don't even care. So, hold on. Alright, let us warp. Well, we need to get get out of here. Alright, now let us warp to swine dimples, because that's where we need to go. Alright, now let us equip Kenshin and yeah, I probably need to get something on him so he doesn't get massacred out there. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, he's an omnivocational swords master, so he can equip any kind of sword. Sweet. He's gonna get cold out there though. Uh-oh. Don't attack me. Okay, so what we need to do is go up to the Kringle Coast. So let's fast forward power. And also, I think I'm going to equip Ira with a sword as well. Because for this you need... Yeah, let's just equip this. For this you need sap and you need... Um, here we are. Let us take this mofo on. Alright, so what we need to do... Please have Sweet, you have Sap. So, let's have him attack. Instead of having her use Sap, we'll have her use Fire Force. Where is it? There we are. On Ira, and then... Sap on this guy. Uh-oh! Sap goes haywire! I have the power of fire! Oh yeah, Nino's the man. Ow. Sap goes haywire! Ooh, sweet. Now this should, this should work. This should be how we have to do it. Um... So now let us... Just take out this guy here. Uh, no, ne yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, nice job. Oh, yeah. Criticals of the wazoo. And did we do it right? Yes, okay. So that's what we need to do. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back. All right, we are back, and I did it. Now, you do not have to put it on uh, the Fire Force on your Armamentalist. You can put them, or Armamentalist, you can basically put it on who, the Fire Force on whoever you want. It works if you put it on your strongest fighter, I guess. And now we have ourselves... a fencing jacket and a fencing frock. Awesome. So, we're cool there. So, let's equip that stuff. And look at that. Now she looks pretty cool, huh? Anyways, what else can we do? Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, let's turn into a warrior. We can also do some stuff with the Paladin, and I'll eventually get to that, but let's make Kenshin a warrior. Because now we can do some more questy quest things. So let's turn Kenshin into a warrior. And he kind of looks like a gladiator guy. And then let's make Maytel into a priest. See? No, 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 no. Yeah, 
See, it's good to change everyone and have them at least get level 40 in a different job class so that you can start doing the next uh, group of things. So it's pretty sweet. Alright, blah blah blah. Let's equip tension with a sword. Sure, now he looks like a true dragon warrior. And Maytel, she can now equip this spear, which is even better. Look at that. There we go. Alright, let's see what we need to do for this next armamentalist thing, but I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to do it. Alright, blah, blah, blah. I already have a level 40 thing. Let's see what you have to say. Oh, so you need to learn all five forces. And you have to defeat a magma lice with frost force, a great gruffin with Gale, Cumulus Lex with Funeral. Alright, so you need all the forces, and we need to be able to fight these guys, so I'm not going to do this quite yet. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Let's go and do another quest. Um, over at Wormwood Creek. Yeah, I'm fast forwarding. Alright, into here. Now, there's a couple things we can do here. And the first one is if we talk to this guy. Level 15. We can talk to this guy. His, his name is Kivo. Alright, so we need to take out monsters with critical hits. It shouldn't be too hard. Let's to do it. Now this is usually, actually, it doesn't look too hard, but it actually is, can be quite hard due to the fact that, um, you know, you don't get criticals all the time. So yeah, now all the people in Wormwood Creek are singing a different tune. Alright, so let's go outside and see if we can get ourselves a fight fight. And hopefully there'll be two monsters that we can do this critical thing with. Now, actually, I want to show off something while we're here. Let's use this ability, Giddy Diddy. And attack, attack, and attack. Oh, yeah, there's one. Wowie. Oh, look at that. Awesome! Did I just fill the quota? Oh, does Kenshin need to do it? Anyways, let's uh, let's have Kenshin. Ah, eh, screw it. So I guess Kenshin needs to do it. So I'm just gonna walk around and, and see if I can get some critical with Kenshin. So I'll be right back. Okay, after a couple of battles, I was able to critical some monsters with Kenshin, so I did it. Nice. And we get a suit of warrior's armor. Yay! I'm trying to think of, uh... I'm trying to remember any other ones. Well, look at these two fellas. Thaddeus, the protector of the weak and the champion of the underdog. And me, Thag. Hate bullies. Yeah, I'm not even gonna read it. Okay, when we reach level 40, then we can come back here. Which I already have. And let's see how that warrior's armor is. Nah, it's not as good as the dragon mail, but if you equipped it, now he's starting to look like a warrior. You remember from in the uh, opening? Yeah, see, isn't it neat? Eh, I'll keep him like this, why not, right? Alright, so, yeah, if you remember correctly, there's the priest 
job thingy over here. I don't want to do that right away. So, let's see what he has us. Oh, yes. So yeah, yeah, so we can't even do this. We have to kill him. You have to get him really angry, so you basically probably have to whistle. No, I'm not doing it right now. I'm not scared, I just can't get the magma root yet. Uh, what else could we do? Let's see. Um. Oh, yeah, I guess we can go. Let's go to Gleba. Um. Get away from me. Um. Yeah, let's go to Gleba. I could change, I could change Ira back to a ranger, and she can do another ranger thing, but let's go to Gleba and see what kind of a bill, uh, what kind of thing they want us, which, uh, oh damn it, it's night time. Yeah, I wish there was day night in this game. I could just warp, and it'd be day and night and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so what we need to do is come over here, and up to... We need to go upstairs. To the paladin there. There's the queen and her little precious rake. Come on. Alright, we gotta come over here to this paladin lady. We need to defeat three infernal armors with the damage deflect pincushion ability. So yeah, we need to do that. And I think I think those guys are located in Gleba. Or or uh that place next to um wherever we met Batsy and everything. Yeah, right. Blah, 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 massive failures. Okay, sure. Off the record. Alright, so let's return to Batzer. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, so let us go back and I'll show you how this works. Hopefully we can do it. And let's run up. There we go. Now no one will bother us. As we run! Run, baby, run! Alright, we're still in vanish mode. Sweet. This is basically the repel spell in this game. And yeah, this episode is going to be a little longer. Because I kind of want to show you how to do this. Yeah, we're walking through the... Whatever this is. Swamp. Marshland, whatever. Alright, so we're still invisible. Let's see if we can fight an armor. No, you're not armor. I'm pretty sure they were here. Alright, let's see if I can fight some guys. Where are these armors? Where are the armor guys? They're all the way around here. Are they to do? Ooh, a sorcerer's stone. Like Harry Potter. Harry Potter! Um. Alright. Harry Potter and the Infernal Armor. Where are they? Come on. Are they only down in the basement? What the hell? Anyways, I'm going to show you what Pincushion does. Where are these armor fellas? Whoa. Boss troll. Or big... Ah, here you are. Alright, so what we want to do... Is whistle... And let me show you what Pincushion does. Defend. 
And there you go. Yeah, it, basically, it's kind of like the, um... I don't know what the hell it is. It's kind of like the, uh... This... What's that armor? Damn it, I can't remember the crap today. It's kind of like that armor. The, uh... There we go. Oh, God! So let's see what this does. Oh, sweet! So it's like... Oh my god, I'm totally gonna abuse that. Okay. Forget it. Alright, so... Pin cushion is... I'm gonna have to take off some of, uh... Nino's armor or something. But yeah, basically what pin cushion does is... The guy will attack you and basically he'll take a little bit of damage. And so we have to kill the infernal armors with that. I'm going to do that off screen. In the next episode, we are going to continue with some more quests. Awesome. Catch you 1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do this uh, this thing here. Uh, I got two people in my party. And yeah, I'm going to kill... I've already done it twice. And as you can see, oh, son of a bitch. Oh, come on. All right, let's heal. Pin cushion. Nah, let's do multi heal. There we go. No, don't hit her. No, that's not the guy. Alright, so... Let's attack the second guy. Yeah, ooh, he didn't die. Yeah... Just get rid of the medi slimes whenever they come. And there we go, that's how you beat them. Let's kill them! Yay! Who cares, but there you go, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. You probably need less party members so that they focus more in on you. Anyways, uh, yeah, this has been the end of the episode. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.